just don't get around But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like You're crazy for saying I should slow down But maybe I'm escaping the love we found There's something about you Something about you I like About you I like I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you If only you knew I would Hello guys, welcome back to being Mrs. Frazier Or welcome if you are new If you are new, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and join along in this new journey of ours. I am Tammy, Midwest mom of four. We just recently moved to Florida from Nebraska. And yeah, we are currently going through and decorating our home. Uh, we do have some renos coming up that you will see here in the next few weeks. But anyway, today's video, we are giving this living room a facelift, unpacking, decorating, and all the fun things. So I know a lot of people wonder why Florida. We're coming down from Nebraska. My husband and I have lived in the Omaha area for our entire lives, born and raised. We, you know, we're 36 and I guess we just kind of decided that we wanted to move. Um, I have never wanted to stay in, in Nebraska at all. My entire life I've always wanted to move away. Nebraska will always be home, but it's just not something somewhere where I wanted to stay. So we vacationed to Florida one year and fell in love and have gone every year since then and decided that it was time to move. We actually set a five-year goal plan for ourselves, which would have been in 2020. <laughs> we all know what happened in 2020, and it kind of changed our plans a little bit, but this year, seven years after making that plan, was our year. Everything just kind of fell into place. My husband was able to transfer jobs. We found our house and it all worked out. So here we are, our Midwestern family living down here in the beautiful state of Florida, about 20 minutes from the beach. And it is amazing. One of the biggest differences in homes here in Florida compared to back home in Nebraska is there's no basements. Um, <laughs> we used our basements a lot for storage. Laundry room was in the basement, you know, so we did have to declutter. We pretty much decluttered two thirds of our stuff uh, before moving down. However, we still need storage and there is not a lot of storage space in this house at all. Uh, we have one little closet by the garage door that we're currently using as a pantry. Uh, I don't know if it was supposed to be a linen closet or a pantry, but we're using it as a pantry, so we're going with it. Um, but anyway, so we're finding little ways of creating storage for ourselves. So as you see here, I am putting together a piece of furniture. This is... Oh, I just forgot the name of it. It's a shoe storage from Ikea. I'll try to remember to link it down below for you guys. It, it took forever. It took me like two hours to put this all together, and I had two of them. So, yeah. That was fun. It was interesting. Uh, worst case, you know, or worst thing about Ikea is that their furniture comes in like a bunch of pieces, but... It worked out, it's great quality, and it was pretty affordable in my opinion. 
And now we have, Fred and I have a place to store our shoes out of sight. So we just used wall space and these IKEA storage cabinets and put, you know, store our shoes. Um, I actually have seen people use these for other storage items. I don't know. You can check out Pinterest and see if you need some ideas. But anyway, I love them. Great quality and they worked out perfect. Oh. It's officially been three whole weeks since we moved to Florida and everything is just coming along so nicely. We were able to get our driver's license switched over, our cars have all been registered down in Florida now, and even the kiddos, uh, three of the four are registered for school down here. So Mia's is coming up this week this for high school. I can't believe I'm saying that. Um, technically, this is our second time registering her for high school since we did register her back home in Nebraska. Um, however, we just we just called and let them know that we won't be actually sending her to school there since we moved. But anyway, it's just it's just amazing. I, I truly feel like when things are meant to happen, everything just kind of falls in place. And for the most part, that's kind of how everything has been going. Everything is just falling into place. It's just all working out. And we are so happy. I mean, I, I was talking with my dad the other day and I told him, I think, honestly, this is the happiest I've ever been or at least been in a very long time. It It's just amazing what this opportunity is providing for us as a family, for our children, and just kind of starting over in life. Tell me, do you think of me too? Every song just reminds me of you and it kills me No, it was a mistake Letting you go Cause every song just reminds me I know moving's not for everybody, but I do truly believe in doing what makes you happy. Live for you and only you. You can't live for other people. You have to do what makes you happy, whether that's through a job, whether that's moving, coloring your hair, wearing certain clothes, certain shoes, whatever it is, you know, just do you, do what makes you happy, what works for you, what works for you, your family, you know, that's just so important in life, we don't, we aren't promised tomorrow, so just sitting on dreams you know, follow those dreams. Don't don't just sit on them. Don't just well someday. You know, follow those dreams, guys. Get out there and just live your life. Another thing, step outside of your comfort zone. Try new things. You never know if you're going to like something unless you try it. And quite honestly, you know, I, I that's a big thing I try to teach my children. You know, try it. If you don't try it, you don't know. And, you know, a lot of times they try things and they're like, wow, I should have done this before or I can't wait to do it again. 
you know, occasionally you find the time where they're like, okay, no, I don't like it. And I totally get that because I'm super picky. So I understand, you know, trying things and not liking them. But again, you'll never know if you don't try. And that kind of falls along with this dream of moving. You know, we followed our dream. We followed our goal to get down here to Florida. And honestly, it costs a lot of money to do so. But if we don't like it, we can always move somewhere else. There's always other places to go. Um, but you, again, you just never know if you don't try. There's a few things that you'll notice. Uh, we did buy new furniture. I tried to make sure that everything, I set a budget for ourselves or for myself or whatever. I made a lot of the bigger purchases, a lot of the des decor designs and stuff on my own. Fred, you know, some things, if they're a little bit maybe out of the box, I, I try to ask Fred and see what his opinion on it is. But most often he doesn't totally care. So anyway, I set a budget for myself and I think I did pretty good. Um, I ended up buying some things that I didn't expect to buy, like a coffee table, um, you know, some random things. But most, mostly everything that we've bought for our new home was planned for because we didn't bring any of our furniture other than our bedroom sets. So I knew that those things would need to be repurchased once we got down here to Florida um, for instance like our couch this is is a new couch if you guys remember our old couch was a black leather couch uh, just a regular couch not this like kind of sectional situation um, this couch this new couch behind me here is from Ashley furniture uh, I, I think it was about $1,500 if I remember correctly. We got it over 4th of July weekend when they were having a really big sale. So a tip from Tammy, definitely when you're furniture shopping, find those sales. Um, if you find something that you just absolutely love, see if you can wait for a sale or ask an associate and see if there's going to be a sale coming up or if there's any discounts that they can offer. I know a store back home um, the Breast French Mart, actually, they used to be able to, you used to be able to talk them down off of their price tag. I don't know how much they really do that now, but even if it's a 10% discount, 5% discount, it's just something off. So I always try to save anywhere I can. Um, just like our dining room furniture, I saw the table back home in Nebraska. It was like over eight, almost $900. And I ended up finding the exact same thing on Amazon, sold through Ashley Furniture, through Amazon, and it was only, it was like $350. So definitely check around if you find something that you like to try to help save money. It's kind of quiet in my room right now without you. And I couldn't really make you stay, so what to do? I'm just staring at my walls and talking to myself now and then I'll try to laugh, but I'll cry a bit as well. I was never any good at being away from you. This wall was the only wall that I hadn't painted yet, or this little area, this hallway, I guess, if you will. Uh, I painted the other areas or the other wall in the main part of the living room because I wanted it painted before the couch was delivered. So when I painted the bedroom, after I got done with the bedroom, I moved out to the living room and just got these, the main part of the, the living room painted, um, other than behind the TV, just that way, so the paint was dry before the couch came. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I just wanted to make sure it was painted and everything. I didn't have time to paint the rest of it. I probably should have, but I didn't, and the day was just kind of getting late. 
while I was painting, and so I just wanted to hurry up and get it done. I was running out of time before the couch was coming, so anyway, that's why you don't see me paint the whole living room. You're just seeing me paint the uh, portion behind the TV and this little hallway. I also like to note that I hate painter's tape. I am not a fan of it. I don't use it unless I absolutely have to because I always have issues with it. Um, whether it's pulling up my fresh paint or whether it just doesn't, it bleeds, you know, whatever the issue is, I don't, I don't care for painter's tape. So I am not using it. I use a brand new brush every time and that way that I have a sharp angled edge so I can get up close next to like the ceiling or the trim work. Um, I will also say this color that I'm using is Alabaster by Sherwin Williams. I actually wanted to go a little bit affordable, more affordable, so I had Lowe's mix it up in the Valspar Signature Series paint. Uh, that way, you know, we weren't paying Sherwin Williams pricing, but we were paying Valspar pricing, which Valspar is an amazing paint. I, our entire house. Our old house was painted with Valspar. It holds up nicely. It cleans nicely. And I just love it. So I wanted to go ahead and stick with it. I actually picked up this bucket of paint over Memorial Day weekend so I could get my $40 rebates because I knew that we would be needing that rebate money anyway. And it's just another way of saving money. I'm sure you're noticing that the dining room kitchen area is full of boxes and it still has a lot of boxes in it. I am trying to refrain from unpacking them because we want to redo the kitchen and quite honestly the kitchen is so gross. Um, I don't know if the old owner just never cleaned it or what but it was, it was, is a mess. Uh, Mia went through and cleaned up the upper cupboards for me and she used a white wash rag and the wash rag was no longer white. Um, and I'm sorry, it's not a wash rag, it's a wash rag. Y'all know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's from being raised by Iowa farm people, adding R in your wash instead of, you know, anyway. <laughs> anyway, y'all can make fun of me in the comments, it's all good. I don't care. <laughs> Um, at least I don't say Washington DC like my mother and my father. So anyway, going back to the cupboards, the gross, we haven't, uh, done a whole lot. Mia washed, um, cleaned it out with a white towel and a white rag. And the rag was basically disgusting, brown, gross. I had her throw it away. Um, and I, uh, it makes me sick putting my dishes in there because, it's just gross and I'm, I don't know, I'm super picky like that, I guess. And so anyway, I don't want to fully unpack until we get the kitchen taken care of, which, um, don't worry, I am filming that. So make sure you are subscribed because that will be coming out here in a few weeks, I think. Um, hopefully so. Anyway, also, well, I just noticed, there it is, guys. That is the red package you guys have been waiting for to be unveiled. This gorgeous cowhide rug that we picked up in Texas last year. Oh, I absolutely love it. I've been wanting it, or wanting a cowhide rug for forever, and I finally got one, and it is absolutely gorgeous. Just beautiful. Um, I know animal... It, Hides are not for everyone. Don't worry. This guy was used well. Uh, his meat was consumed and they just used every single part of his body and I just was able to use the hide. So anyway, guys, uh, now that I'm maybe done rambling for now and going on and off of different topics, let's go ahead and, uh, Start, I guess getting this decor put together we I'm pulling out the coffee table here I'm actually guys oh my gosh it's so cute Freddie wanted to help me with this so anyway I'm done rambling for a minute go ahead 
it and watch the video and enjoy. I have Hayden helping me here, and then Freddie comes and helps me put the legs on. The sorrows. This is a mistake. I know about tomorrow. I don't want to fight no more because I don't feel the need no more. No, just want to make it stop. Maybe it's something in the water. Or maybe we just hit the end of the road. Right now, it doesn't even matter. It's too late not to let it go. This was just too cute not to share. Uh, he asked if he could help, so I thought it was an easy enough project that I would let him. You know, honestly, my kids have been really good about helping through this entire moving process, so I'm super grateful for that. The remedies, yeah. Promise I won't forget. Yeah. Maybe it's something in the water. Yeah. Or maybe we just hit the end of the road. Yeah. Right now it doesn't even matter. Yeah. It's too late not to let it go. And that's why I'm so thankful that we were almost done unpacking everything. We just literally need to finish the kitchen and dining room and i think it'll be done other than getting the garage organized but unfortunately the garage cannot be organized until we get a shed which we don't want to get a shed until the kitchen is done because the kitchen the budget is ever changing because of the decisions <laughs> that i can't make up my mind for so we're trying to get the kitchen done and then hopefully we'll get the shed done or ordered or delivered or however shed services go I really don't even know um, so if anybody's in the Daytona Beach area or Volusia County in general can you let me know where to get a shed from um, I know like Lowe's and Home Depot and that have them but they don't come with a bottom and I, I don't know I've never had to buy a shed before so this is all new territory and the county I live in or not county, the city that we live in requires like extreme permits, like they're super picky for things. Uh, so yeah, any help, let me know down in the comments, cause I'm lost. <laughs> I was going back and forth on picking pillows for the couch. Um, I was actually going back and forth on picking what color for the couch. It looks pretty light in this video, and it is light, but it has a lot of like different gradients of browns and colors in it to help, I guess, hide any like staining or anything like that. So it's not a stark white or you know something whatever <laughs> uh but it does have a mixture of colors to kind of help hide dirt if you will because yes we do have four kids uh and yes things do get dirty quickly um but we also made it a rule not to eat on the furniture or in the living room so we're working on that as well because it is awfully difficult for a family of six to sit around a square card table <laughs> but anyway guys back to the pillows I was having a hard time deciding what color pillows I wanted uh, you will see though that I covered the pillows that the couch came with because I was not a fan so anyway um, oh I love it was so funny I have to tell you guys this story I found this tray this Tommy Bahamas tray at home goods and when I went to buy it, so it's super heavy. Like, it is a very heavy, sturdy tray. And when we were checking out, the lady was like, Oh, this is perfect. When you when somebody, like, tries to break in, you just grab this and you knock them over the head with it. You guys, I was dying inside, like, laughing. Cause I could not believe she was, like, telling us this. She was so nice and so funny, though. Um, honestly, everywhere we've gone down here pretty much everybody has been so incredibly nice 
it's, it's just amazing. Um, you know, because I never realized... I guess when you're, like, doing touristy things and you're going to these touristy places, the people aren't always as friendly. Um, I don't know if it's because tourists suck <laughs> and they're not very nice usually. And so people just, I don't know, automatically get offensive that way. But going to places that aren't tourist type places like Lowe's, Home Depot, the DMV, um, you know, all the places like that, everybody has been so incredibly nice. And it's been a really, like, a, a breath of fresh air, to be honest. struggling on how to decorate the TV cabinet. I I don't know. I'm kind of torn. There's the three shelves. The very bottom shelf is kind of decoration and then Fred put his Xbox in there. Um, but there's still another shelf and it's such a small awkward size shelf that I, I don't know what to put there. So if you guys have recommendations, leave them down in the comments. Help your girl out. Let me know what your uh, what you're thinking. What your design thoughts are for that. I'm running out of time. Every day goes by so fast. And every moment counts, baby, I don't want to miss a thing We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars I don't know why I decided to finish the decor on this night We had spent literally all day in Orlando I mean, we walked all over Disney Springs, all over the premium event Vinland, Vineland, Vineland outlets, I think is what they're called, Vineland out outlets, premium Vineland outlets, something like that. Uh, anyway, walked all over both malls, and you guys, I was just exhausted, and my brain was just not functioning when it came to decor, but it's, honestly, I still am a little, like, struggle bussy. You'll see here in a second, because I think I show it um, here in a few minutes. I'm trying to figure out how to decorate above the couch. I just don't know. I am completely lost. I don't really want to get rid of my big clock, but at the same time, like, it just seems awkward with other things, because we have a large picture of downtown Omaha that we both love. Um... And I just, I don't know how to hang anything up above the couch. Here you go. See? I'm just, I'm just really struggled with seeing here. And I don't know if it wasn't, I guess it wasn't just from the long day, even though we, it was a very long day. That's why it's dark outside while I'm finishing this. Um, but also, I just, I'm at a loss. So, anyway, if you guys want to leave any links or something down below, what, you guys can kind of get an idea of our style. Uh, it's very farmhouse, western-ish, I guess, if you will. Um, yeah, I I'm just struggle bussing because I want to keep these items, but I don't know where to put them. I might put some of them in the bathroom. I don't know. You'll have to let me know down in the comments. We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car We can sleep under the stars So you see I'm just now taking the tags off of items If they're items that I'm not 100% sure on, how they'll work, how they'll look with my decor I don't like to take the tags off that way If I don't end up liking them or don't end up using them, I can just return them to the store um, however, those items that I just cut the tags off, I knew I liked them, I knew they were going to be permanent, and so we went ahead, or I went ahead and cut the tags off. So, tip from Tammy, leave your tags on until you're sure that you're keeping the item, just in case it doesn't work out. Every moment tonight, they led me to you, every single time. Why don't you come sit next to me? 
you Florida people, I'm going to need your help here. I need help on the best sunscreen. We went to the beach and we used sunscreen. Everybody used sunscreen except for Mia kind of willy-nilly put it on and Fred didn't use it at all. And people got burnt. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. I actually forgot to put it on my legs, so my legs got burnt. It, it was a big deal. Um, we're still healing from that, that incident. So I need to know the best sunscreen for Florida. Uh, beaches, water, sun, y'all know. It's a different sun down here. The weather is similar as back home in Nebraska, but the sun the sun is different, so I need your help because I need to know what sunscreen that I should that we should be using. Also, I want to show you guys this cool little lighter that I just picked up. I've seen it a lot on TikTok, and I it was on sale for Prime Days, so I went ahead and picked one up. I really like it. It doesn't have an open flame. It's more like a taser but it works it worked really good so anyway guys this is gonna be it this is the final overview for now um i hope you all liked it i hope you guys got some sort of motivation from it go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to hit the red subscribe button and we will see you in the next one bye guys